A lot of us left-wingers are pacifists. Very much pacifists. Until we feel cornered. And then we're not so much pacifists. We tend to... Rage at that point. We're kind of like raccoons. You know, no, no worries until you corner them. Left-wingers, like myself, are not very good at insults. I suck at insults. Flat out. And I don't want to spend much energy on learning new ways to insult people. It's just not my thing. Left-wingers are the ones that will usually riot. I'm trying to think of any point in my lifetime that I've seen right-wingers riot. I mean, I've seen right-wingers become violent, but it's usually towards a particular situation. It's not just like an all-out riot. The rioting usually comes from the left. You know, let's, let's say the past 80 years. Again, it's kind of part of that thing of, well, you know, we're pacifists until we feel cornered. Feel cornered. Feel. And I can relate with this feeling. I can relate with it. And it's when, what's went through my head so much thinking about what if Trump wins? I will feel cornered, helpless, and it has there's this feeling like everything everything that we've strived for for the past especially 30 years is just going to all go down the toilet. And there's nothing we can do about it. Nothing. Helpless. Cornered. Absolutely helpless. Not a damn thing we can do about it. Except just watch all this progress go down the tubes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there will be rioting if Trump wins. I don't know what will happen if Hillary wins. If the right riots, it will be interesting to see how they do it. I don't think it's going to be destruction of property. I just, I just don't know what it will be. Maybe it will be uh, related to media or something. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Maybe there'll be a whole bunch of protests and then uh, maybe some on the left will try to counter the protests and end up becoming violent. It's just the pattern in more recent years, unfortunately, too. Just those on the left being the ones that, that become violent. No matter how foul someone is on the right, it's no excuse to become violent towards them. It's just no excuse. They may have hurt your feelings, but it's it's no excuse. But at the same time, I can't say that I uh, don't empathize with those on the left who have to listen to this shit. Because there's, again, those on the left are not very good at insults. Our insults suck. They do. They do. Now, I'm speaking in, on general terms, and if you're going to come on here, well, you know, I don't, and, and I don't, and I don't, and I don't. Shut up. Just, just shut up. I'm talking about this in generalized terms, and I guess that's something that pisses a lot of people off just in general. You know, you're supposed to have a conversation a certain way. You're supposed to discuss things a certain way. Um, so, you know, maybe this video would be 45 minutes long just for me to say what I've just said already, you know, 
because I have to say all the exceptions. I have to say all of the... I have to categorize things the, the right way and all that shit. And I'm not doing that in this. You know, I consider myself on the left and I can see the negative sides to the left. I also see the negative sides to the right, obviously. Um, I am a neophile. I am not a neophobe. And here in the United States, a lot of the, the right-wingers tend to be neophobes. There is, there is, it, it is a fear of change. Now, the left right now has a fear of regression. Yeah, it's a fear of change, but it's a fear of changing back to what we were. And that's one of the scary elements to Trump's uh, tagline, Make America Great Again. Again? When were we great? We never were great. We've had m lots of fucked up problems uh, throughout this country. We've hardly had any, what is it, uh, 20 years total or something like that, somewhere around that, that we haven't been at war since this country was founded. I mean, that's it. I think it might be less than 20. But... Yeah, when were we really great? Well, you know, when we were founded, yeah, and then we had slavery, we had child labor, we had uh, women being treated like objects and property. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, those are some great times, right? Yeah. No. So... The idea of a Trump presidency terrifies a lot of people. And so, again, I think if Trump wins, we're going to see rioting. Now, there is a way that I can imagine the right rioting, and that would be if the people's vote um, completely differed from the electoral vote. And then, of course, the electoral vote gets it. You know, but if the people's if the people's vote is for Trump, and the electoral vote is for Hillary, yeah, I could see the right rioting in some way. I don't know how they would riot. Um, you know, if they were to destroy property, I could picture them destroying government property, and not the property of of uh, businesses. But who knows? Um, you know, maybe people will take up arms or something and threaten. Not actually commit violence, but take up arms and threaten. I don't know. I don't know. But this election worries me a lot.